Welcome everyone. We are going over the Chevrolet Design Awards right here, Chevrolet Booth 2013 SEMA. I'm Dennis Pitzenmarger, and on my left, Jeff Nowicki from Nowicki Autosports. How are you doing today, sir? Good, Dennis. How are you? Glad to be here. It's, it is great. It's my pleasure to, to introduce you to the first of our award winners here, and of course, Dan Gifford, and of course, the Dave Ross on my left as well. <laughs> um, guys, talk about this award with that Jeff won. Dan, tell me about it. Uh, well, the first morning of the show, I walked in. I snuck in the back under the curtain early when no one's around made my way around the, the back of the show, and then a Corvette caught my eye, and I thought, we didn't do a silver Corvette. <laughs> and I, <clears throat> that looked like that anyway. We did one silver Corvette, and it's somewhere else. And so <clears throat> I, the first thing that grabbed me was how well executed it was. It was just a really good, well-done Corvette. And as I got in closer, I saw some more details that I liked, the accessory carbon fiber bits all over it. The whole black back graphic was amazing. Dramatic. Dramatic was just well done. So. You're the real guy who should talk about this car. You don't need to hear from me. I thought it was fantastic. Though. Well, thank you, and I appreciate it. And uh, getting the, the two awards this morning was truly overwhelming, and I just was not expecting it. And uh, to be able to um, you know, put a team together of, of, of great suppliers, um, you know, we had Michelin on board and Brembo, uh, HRE Wheels, and uh, we worked a, a nice uh, uh, deal out with... Um, uh, Patrick Sancourt from Sancourt Composites to help really do all of the good uh, work with the tooling and produce the parts. And actually did a little joint venture with LG Motorsports as well to launch the, uh, the rockers and the splitter. So there's actually, there's 19 individual components on the car that will all be available through NoWikiAutosport.com and a couple of our other uh, wholesale distributors. So I'm really, really excited about having the car here. And I had, you know, about a year ago, I was talking to the guys at Mobile, and I've had a relationship with them since 1990 on my, my racing background. They've always sponsored my race programs. And uh, it was just one of those natural fits to have, you know, such a, you know, again, an iconic car and to be able to take it to the next level, like you said earlier, Dave, and, uh, and to be able to have it here and have it in the booth with, with, with mobile and also to have BASF supply the, uh, supply the paint for the car. What, what, it, what is it about the Corvette that, uh, that inspired you to do something like that? Well, you know, it's just, it's, it's America's sports car. I mean, and you, you look at the car and it's, it's again, it's, it's, it's bang for the buck. There's nothing that really can compete with that car. At that, at that, at that, you know, price point, and uh, so it just makes makes it a natural fit for for doing accessories because people want to, you know, personalize their vehicles, and when you have you know a nice niche market like that, and you can kind of do something out of the box the, the, uh, that other people may not be able to really do because you can have the vision to do the clay work, do the tooling work, sketch it, and actually see the whole thing from stem to stern. So getting these awards today was really a validation of of, of that hard work. Yeah, for so. those you don't know Jeff, Jeff is actually a real artist because he actually hand sculpted those parts in his garage with clay and cast the parts, made the molds, so you are the real creative genius behind it as well. Yeah, well like I say, that's also hard work and, yeah. and, and you have to have a good, a good network of people behind you and yeah. uh, um, you know, to help with doing some of the composites as well on a, on a manufacturing type basis. Yeah. So. One of the things I liked about the car, Jeff, is that you, you mentioned how many, uh, tell me how many parts there were on the car that there, you there's had 19, changed. There's 19 yeah. actual individual parts on it. As I stood so. around it, I thought in my mind what other types of scenarios, what other kind of customer group I could, I could design this car for <laughs> using all of those parts. Right, and that's what's right. so fun about a car yeah. like this. You really developed um, a lot of parts. Yeah, right. thank you. And it was all really done in a really short period of time. And, and the guys at San Cor worked overtime and, and just seven days a week to help launch this project because I was actually doing doing uh, another project at the time, a full-size clay model of, of which you'll see on the track next year of a, of a new Corvette C7 Trans Am race car. So, so you know, when, when this all kind of came together with mobile, and then it was get a car. So the, actually, I didn't even have this car until October 15th. So a lot happened in a short period of time. Yep. So, yep. so it's well, I, I got to tell you, I, I, I'm impressed by the car. I'm, I love the fact, I know the Dave Ross likes the fact and appreciates the clay work. It's, it's like us old body and paint guys yeah. that can't find a real metal yeah. guy anymore. It's just that artistic outco, yeah. and we can't say enough about your Corvette, and thank you so thank much. You. Jeff Nowicki from Nowicki Autosports, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment.